that I want to do to my layout is round out um, actually just one corner. I don't want to round out all the corners. So you always see completely rounded corners. I figure maybe what I'll do is just round out the bottom right hand corner. I'll leave the the top, the bottom left and top right square, and, and uh, I just think it'll give it a, a nice little look. So first, the first thing I want to do is create a graphic that is a, a rounded out right hand corner, and I did it. I already created it, and and here it is. It's it's a bit hard to see because it's so bright, but you know I have obviously the color of the of the corner and the background image that I set over here and this is a little clear portion over here uh, transparent portion so when I change the background um, it I won't have to actually change the graphic but if actually if I change the background of this div I will have to change this image but if I change the background I won't because I made the corners around the edges over here and the same thing with my tab buttons over here. Uh, I made them transparent. Um, and actually, just real quick, how I did this to kind of keep things consistent is all I did was I took this image that I had in my background over here. I basically cropped this one corner here. And then I just rotated it once to the right. And it turned to be this upside down corner like so. So that was just a real quick and easy way to get it done. Now let me actually apply that style. So first and foremost what we do with this kind of stuff is we're going to apply a background image to um, well what container we're going to apply it to. You know sometimes I guess you would think that you're going to apply it to the uh, div container, the container but uh, actually, remember that we actually set main content to be the full height of the div of the uh, container of the div container by name. I mean container in our in our file menu. I'm referring to to this guy. So really, what's touching the bottom most the bottom corner is our uh, main content div. So it's there that we're going to add. Um, a background image and the background image is going to be that graphic that we just created so bottom right hand corner I'm gonna choose that um, I actually already have it in there that's why that dialog popped up background repeat we definitely don't want it to repeat attachment we don't even have to mess with this field background position on the x-axis we're going to put it to the right, so it's going to go all the way to the right over here. Background position on the Y, we want it to the bottom, which is going to go down over here. And then just hit Apply and OK. And, and it's hard to tell over here, but I'll give, you a, um, I'll give you a preview of what's going on. Now keep your eye right where my mouse pointer is, right over here. You see it? And now I'm going to refresh it, and you should see that it was rounded. And actually, let me zoom zoom in a little bit closer on that it's, it'll be a little hard to tell but um, you should see it like so you know what I have a better idea why don't I do it this way there we go so now you should see this corner is quite rounded out and actually the the radius of that rounding is similar to that of the tab menu now let me get out of here before I make you sick um, and of course we should test this on all our browsers um, but fortunately I mean I know ahead of time that the background positioning works on IE7 so it shouldn't be an issue so let me just put all this stuff up and we'll give it a test so here it is let's just look straight at the live at the live feed the CSS2 all right so there's the rounded corner over there. We already saw that. Let's make sure it works in Safari. All right, and here's Internet Explorer 7. Let me refresh this. And it's working there too. Let's make sure. There it is. Our beautiful rounded corner. So that was a very simple way of making a rounded corner. Now we did get to cheat because we didn't 
have to bother doing it for all the corners, although I'm not sure it'd be that difficult because if we wanted both of these corners down at the bottom to be rounded, because we have this thing is a fixed width, I think, of about 800, we could have just created a, a instead of having it background uh, right corner, just be, um, I don't know what you name it, you know, bottom corners, and we make a an image similar to this that would just be like a long bar that would come from here to here and have one rounded edge and another rounded edge and the dimensions of that would be or the width of it would be the width of our layout so that would be about 800 well not about it would be actually 800 pixels and we could do the same thing for up top over here although we need to find a hook and likely the hook that we would use would be this h1 header and we would use something like top right corner and exactly how we did it here we position it to be the top and all the way to the right and it should sit right over here